There you go. You see that? Yeah, all over the put on that. Oh my God. Ever wonder where tradition meets taste? Today I'm heading to Maganawa in Quezon City to check out Pavichiano. They say it's where authentic Filipino flavors come alive. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Just quickly before all the food comes out here, Em ordered this right here. I just want to grab a piece of this real quick. Uh, this is okoi. So it's a combination of shrimp and rice turned into a little rice cake. Uh, these feel super crispy. I'm gonna go into vinegar here for just a minute. Oh, those are fantastic. Can you get crunch? And a little bit of vinegar. It's just a subtle shrimp flavor that are on them. <laughs> those are good. All right, here we go. We're starting off here. First dish I'm going for here, Provinciano. This is a uh, Kansi. And I ordered this dish because I spent a lot of time in Bacolid, and it's one of the dishes that I absolutely fell in love with. And they've assured me here they, they make this with the uh, batwa, which is a souring agent. It's a small green fruit, and that's what makes this sour, as opposed to even a tamarind or a vinegar, is the batwa. So I'm gonna grab one big piece of meat up out of here. I'm gonna try and get this whole thing loaded up before I go after that bone marrow. It's meaty, I can tell you that. Ah, oh, it feels like they have jackfruit in here as well. Here we go, Kansi. I have not had Kansi in Luzon. I've, I've only ever had this in Bacolo. You like it? It's good. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Right. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you it's just like I'm in Bacolo. No, it's not, but it's still very good. The beef is cooked down and the bones are all cooked down for hours in there. There's some jackfruit in here. All right, finally, I got a bite in. You can definitely tell, like, the, there is Batuan in this. Oh, good. I am just wearing this shit everywhere. <laughs> Have I got it all over my shirt yet? If you're here in Luzon, and you like a Pachetto, or you like a Bulo, highly suggest it. Or even if synagogues are thing. Now, it's definitely not mine, but if it's yours, Come here, check it out. Like the currency is unbelievably good. And it's a flavor I have severely missed. Oh, that's good. There's one thing that we absolutely have to try and do here, really quickly. That is, get that, break that out of there. If you were to be back in Hilo Hilo or Bacoli, douse your rice with a little bit of the broth. And then grab all that bone marrow. And mash it into that rice. And four. Over the last few weeks with what we've done here with restaurants and the videos I'm doing, I might just keep doing things like this for you. Because the food's always awesome. Like, it's unbelievable. If you have any recommendations for other places, leave them down in the comments. And let's go. Bone marrow, garlic rice. Holy Jesus. <laughs> it makes the rice creamy, fatty, rich. Oh, God. Get a little bit of a sour from the broth that you're putting on top of it. Unbelievably good.
This is Homba. Uh, this is another dish that I fell in love with in the Visayas. I was introduced to this in Cebu, and I absolutely love this. For all you straight adobo fans out there, this is a million times better. I don't care what anybody says. All right, so I got some garlic rice here. So I am gonna see if I can get some of this uh, humba up. I was getting ready to call it adobo. Not as saucy as some of the others that I've had. But hopefully, it's just cooked really, it's cooked down really well. We know it's saucy. You get uh, some little fried bananas with it as well. All right, here we go. Little fried bananas are awesome. If I end up eating all the rice over there on your left, just order another. All right, but here we go. I'm gonna grab just a piece of this over. Fight your mother over that. It's stupid good. But it's beautiful savoriness to it. It's sweet. Humba oh, is supposed to be much fattier. What I just picked up is very lean. Flavors are beautiful. But that is a very lean piece. Where's the fatty? There you go. I have to grab that fatty. Oh, it's fatty. Oh my god. The food here is unbelievably good. Moving right along here, this is Odabong Pusa. And what that is, is it's baby squid done adobo style. So while I just sat here and badmouthed adobo as I ate my delicious humba, this is one way that I do really like adobo. But when it comes to pork or chicken, yeah, sorry, taking humba every single time. Right. A little baby squid have a funny little texture to them, They're kind of bouncy inside of your mouth. The flavors of it is fantastic. Oh, it's good. Well, so you can see what's left of the bowl of the baby squids here. This is the smallest dish that they brought us. Every other dish is huge. Yeah, you get your squids up with a little bit of rice. I was done, good. What I am staying with, so I could definitely have to save her some. Oh, nice. One after another, we're trying to pile through these. So, this has been sitting here for a little while now, so I hope that I haven't screwed this up, but this is one of my favorite things. This is a uh, crispy bottom. Still crunchy. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? I love this so much. All right, let's see if I can get any meat off of here. Oh, look at that. That's fatty too. Oh, yeah. All right, it's pretty good. Let's see if that'll focus in there for you. That fatty, fatty bit. All over that. Now, M being the gem that she is, went up to the little station over there, got me some chilies. Get a couple on there. Give them chilies. Here we go. Oh my god. Alright, got one more I want to show you here. 
Det er sådan, at det er det første part of it. Okay, I feel a little bad, because this week I'm only doing five dishes for you. That's it. This is the last dish that we're going to do. Uh, let me show you why M is so full right now. Because she's already eaten an entire bowl of this. And this is one of my favorite Filipino dishes. Uh, this is dinner guan. Um, you get a side of puto with this, which not if you're not from the Philippines, not your mother that I'm saying something bad about. It's this. And it's a little rice cake. It's a steamed rice cake. Uh, dinner guan. Once again, if you're not from here, this is a chunky dinner guan too. So if you don't know what dinner guan is, dinner guan is a blood stew. It's made pork blood. There's going to be a lot of innards in here. There's going to be intestines. There's going to be uh, liver. And this one is heavily chunky. A lot of times you get so just pork meat in there as well. Here, let's just taste the blood stew itself. Whoa. Dropped it. There you go. You see that? All over the put on there. Oh my god. That is unbelievably good. What do you think they're doing to make that bit one? Like there's it's savory, it's uh, sweet. It's blood. Why are you going to add vinegar? It's going to be a little bit of vinegar already cooked into it. It's the tiniest, tiniest thing. Too much. I can mix it around. All right. Let's just get in here. There. See, see everything all picked up there? Oh, my God. Holy Jesus. I like Dinaguan everywhere I've ever had it. This there is just a beautiful sweetness almost. It's, sweet is not the right word. But I kind of hope you understand where I'm trying to go with that there. It's not the right word, but there is just this beautiful flavor to this. There is pork meat in there as well, but it's extremely chunky. You don't get uh, any overwhelmingly irony flavors or anything like that. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. I would love to sit here and keep eating for you guys, but I just can't do it. Uh, I just wanted to quickly take a couple of minutes here to go over this bill with you guys. Uh, total on everything right here, 3,966 pesos. There is your US dollar amount right down below me there. A couple of things to take into consideration here. Em is with me, so I'm ordering additional items because she's here. Uh, and I also ordered two beers here. When we look at it in comparison to what I did last week at Say Lola Cafe. A uh, couple of items here I'll give you real quick. Consi, for instance, a big gigantic bowl of Consi, 760 pesos. Crispy Pata, 795 pesos. It's kind of on par for the course when it comes to Crispy Pata. So is it the cheapest place in the world? Absolutely not. Is the staff worth coming here for? Yep. Is the food worth coming here for? Once again, Dinaguan is probably the best I've had anywhere in the Philippines. Definitely worth checking out if you have the means to do so. But that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap this video up right here. You guys be sure to tune in next week. See what else I get up to.